Welcome to Azuqua. In this video, we're going to briefly walk you through starting a new flow. When you first log into Azuqua, you can create a new flow by clicking New Flow at the top right corner of the dashboard. After you click on New Flow, you'll be given the option to choose what kind of event you want your flow to be based on. There are three main categories of events, application events, scheduled events, and on-demand events. Application events will trigger your flow depending on a specific event that occurs in a cloud application. Scheduled events trigger your flow based on a date and a time. And on-demand events, which are broken into three sub-events. You have three choices when creating an on-demand flow. To create a child flow, which can be referenced in a parent flow, trigger a flow based on a form submission, and lastly, to create a flow that can be triggered via an API endpoint. API endpoint is very useful if you want to trigger your flow from an external application, such as via an HTTP request from another service. After you've selected what type of event you want to leverage, you can start creating logic in the body of your flow. You do this by adding actions or functions. The actions you can take are based on the connector you choose, as each connector has its own set of actions that you can build upon. Functions let you interact with any data that is being pushed through your flow. Functions are incredibly helpful and allow you to power very complex scenarios. These are the basics of starting a new flow. Beyond that, try playing around and seeing what you can create. Azuqua is a very broad platform. We provide powerful functions and integrations to enable a wide variety of complex scenarios. If you have a specific solution you need help with, feel free to contact us at support at azuqua.com. We have expert flow builders on staff that can light up solutions in minutes that would otherwise take hours or even days to complete.